Today we will learn different types of man-made fibers. In textile industry, man-made fibers can be divided into two main types. One is regenerated fibers, which are basically regenerated from natural materials. The other is synthetic fibers, which are entirely synthetic and not derived from natural sources. Example of regenerated fibers are viscous rayon, lyocell fabric, model fabric. Rayon is a man made regenerated fiber made from natural sources of regenerated cellulose, such as wood and related agricultural products. It is also known as viscose. It is inexpensive and comfortable. The origins of rayon can be traced back to the work of French chemist and industrialist Halle de Chardonnay. In 1884, Chardonnay developed a method to produce an early form of rayon known as Chardonnay silk or artificial silk. But it was highly flammable and had safety risks. In the early 20th century, the viscose process was developed, which is the most common method used for producing rayon today. Another type of regenerated fiber is lyocell fabric. It is silky smooth, drapes well and soft, lightweight, and comfortable against the skin. Modal is another type of cellulose-based organic man-made fiber or regenerated fiber that is soft, breathable, and resistant to shrinkage. It was invented in the 1960s by the Austrian company Lenzing AG. Now let us discuss synthetic fibers. Examples of synthetic fibers are Polyester Nylon Acrylic Spandex Polyester is a synthetic man-made fiber, made out of petroleum. This is one of the most popular man-made fabrics in the market because of its cheap rate and availability. It is a wrinkle-free fabric because it does not absorb water. Polyester is also called magical wash and wear fabric as it does not retain any water after the wash, but it retain oil. So any oily stain is super hard to remove. Polyester is not breathable and comfortable like cotton. So we see cotton and polyester blended together to produce fabrics that exhibit properties that can't be achieved using either fiber alone. Nylon Nylon was a groundbreaking invention before World War II. It is very strong and windbreaker. All the parachutes in World War II was made in nylon. The active wears and raincoats used to be made in nylon until better fabric appeared. Acrylic is basically synthetic wool. Acrylic fiber fabrics are made from a synthetic polymer called acrylonitrile. Acrylic fiber fabrics are cheaper than wool, feel like wool, but let me warn you, it is not as good as wool. Spandex is basically a rubber-like fabric. The meaning of spandex word is expand. The company called DuPont first showcased spandex to the public in 1959 under the brand name Lycra. Fiber gained popularity for its remarkable stretch and recovery properties, and it revolutionized the textile industry by providing a new level of comfort and flexibility in clothing. 
your yoga pant has spandex in it. That is why you can expand it so easily. But it recovers to its original size. Your stretchable jeans also has spandex in it. It is important to know that you don't see a 100% spandex fabric. These clothing items has less than 10% spandex and the rest is other fabric. That is it for today. If you want to read man-made fibers in detail, please visit the website. The link is given in the description as well. I will meet you in our next video. Our next topic will be on natural fibers.